Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on January 20th, 2024, I'll be using the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn. There's the front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck divine guidance. Spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What does my all signs, collective energy, timeless message for those that need, oh, there it goes, for those that need to receive it, came right up. Ooh, and I have gotten this card recently <clears throat> when last time, I believe, I used this deck, uh, several cards came out, and this was actually part of that okay this card here and it's come out again uh the number eight are you seeing 888 a reoccurring number in your environment all right go out do your homework do that research on the internet numerology number eight angel number number eight okay look for that information and apply those meanings to your life where it resonates butterfly spirit transformation all right very powerful. And look at this image. Isn't that stunning? If you resonate with any part of this imagery at all, okay, please know that that could be also something that is a synchronicity in your life. Maybe you see butterflies wherever you go, okay, whether that's actual physical live butterflies or pictures of butterflies, videos, movies, you know, shirts, whatever, jewelry I'm getting. You see any of those kinds of things, and it always seems to be a butterfly shape, that would be an indication to do your homework, to do your research about butterfly spirit messages, okay, and what might be in store for you. So just paying attention to that. And here on the car, there's also a, it looks to be a, a clam, okay, with a pearl in the back and maybe pearl Maybe you have a pendant that's a butterflies and pearls, okay? Maybe somebody gave it to you that is very important to you in your life, all right? And maybe somehow that all kind of comes together for you in this message, all right? Maybe that's just, you 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 know, maybe you're wearing it right now and you think, oh my gosh, she's talking about me. It's only going to apply to a select few, okay? This is the message for you. Butterfly spirit transformation, all right? We could all do well with transformation in our life, really, all right? And allowing it to come in, even if we don't understand it, all right, at the time. So we're going to jump into the booklet message here that Denise put together, her hard work. Not only did she spend countless hours, you know, however much time it took to create the cards and, you know, the naming of the cards, okay? But also the the messaging in the booklet is part of these deck creators' creation, all right? And sometimes the booklet gets left behind uh, during readings. And you know what? That is fine to each their own. However you'd like to read cards, wonderful, okay? We welcome in your gifts. We welcome in your process, okay? But here on my channel, I'm always, always going to read the words aloud because I know that this is part of the deck that was created is the booklet, all right? Just as much thought, maybe even more, considering the pages and pages and pages and words upon words here, okay? So this was Denise's intention for the card, her messaging, all right? And we're gonna jump into it here. Not my words again, friends, all right? I'm merely just the messenger. Today, Spirit wanted to bring this card forward for someone to receive, you know, for all of us to receive, really, because as a collective, as anyone having a human experience, you could take note of some of these very important messages here today, all right, and apply it to your life where it resonates. In the sacred forest, you can hear their approach before they arrive. Listen. It's the songs of the butterflies. Their melody trails behind them in ribbons of luminescent lights as their delicate glossomer wings flutter in a kaleidoscope of sound, 
color and delight. Magic is afoot, all right? What a beautiful scene to think about, all right? As she really sets us up for this magical scene, all right? Just beautiful. I can imagine it as well. And just all the butterflies that are just in the air. Wouldn't that be a beautiful sight? Maybe this is something that you witness. And I do think about the monarch in particular and how they <clears throat> travel, all right? And how they can be found in the South states in massive numbers, all right? And I'm not really sure because I'm not up on my butterfly migration or my butterfly information. I don't study butterflies. But a question comes to mind specifically about climate change and how has that affected the butterfly migration, butterfly species in general? And that is coming forward for whatever reason. <clears throat> Maybe that resonates with you. Maybe you have great interest in the migration of animals. And maybe it's specifically the butterflies species, okay? But how has it been affected by climate change? And that that is a transformation that planet Earth is currently experiencing, all right? And probably will for some time. I don't know when it began, all right? Or when it'll end or how much will be affected. But certainly, if animal migration, specifically butterfly migration, interests you, go out and do your homework. This could be your synchronicity that says you're not crazy. Having the thoughts of animal migration being affected by climate change is a real thing. Go out and do your homework. Even, and if you feel so called to step in, and if you feel passionate and purposeful in that topic, certainly find out what you can do to help planet Earth, to help our animals, all right? Wow, okay. You receive this card when you are in the process of change, right? Old structures, beliefs, and ideas are falling away to be replaced with vitality and new pathways. Soon you'll be seeing the world in a fresh way. You're at the beginning, in the middle, or at the completion of the enormous transformation in your life. We are all either at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of an enormous transformation all of the time. Because the one thing guaranteed to us in this human experience is change, right? And the more that you allow that change to come in as it is, and not try to fight back with you know, wanting to control every aspect of it, the easier those transitions will be, all right? Allow it. Don't hold on to old structures and limiting way of thinking, okay? Absolutely. And sometimes transformation is just a mindset, is just a way of thinking, a belief system that you've decided to discard and adopt something new, all right? That alone, change your thoughts, change your life, okay, can happen. Nothing physical in your environment even needs to happen. But just a mindset can change everything right before your eyes, all right? Consider that. Are you holding on to old belief systems that are no longer serving you? Are you holding on to relationships or situations or circumstances or jobs that are no longer serving you, okay? It's time to allow the transformation to happen. It's time to accept that things are what they are and maybe these things served you at one time in your life, okay? Totally fine, part of the process, but we tend to outgrow things. We tend to need to choose a new direction, all right? And if you find yourself procrastinating on making a choice of a new direction, you oftentimes relive the same type of experiences and relationships time and time again. And you wonder, why is this happening? Okay, because you're choosing to stay stuck, all right, and not allow true transformation to happen. Okay. 
even if it looks as if you're in a murky in murky waters and things feel confusing and even if it seems that everything is dissolving around you this is the only clearing that occurs just before rebirth right a lot of times before we're going to have a breakthrough it gets really hard right and those are the moments that people throw up their hands and give up okay but you're being asked to push on through that through the tough times because there's a clearing ahead all right there's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow all right but you need to do the climb all right you need to go through it you need to face the fears and do it anyway all right and i know fear can be something that really just freezes a person into place and they don't know which way to move because fear tells them any way that they move it's you know oh, this is going to happen oh no this is going to happen what are people going to think oh my gosh what if i lose it all what if you lose it all because you're being set up for a change that is meant to happen and if you get through that loss where it appears to you in that fearful mindset that it's a loss could actually be just a gain but it's been presented to you in a way that you feel like it's a loss all right when actually if you let some of these things fall away and you allow that transformation to enter into your life you're going to have your prayers answered all right so you can't stay stuck in a mindset or a belief system that makes you think that it has to look a certain way It's all for your highest good. Remember, you are safe as these changes occur around you, right? And you might actually <clears throat> be experiencing changes that you've prayed for, that you've tried to manifest, right? But it comes in a different form than you were thinking, so it confuses you. And you think, oh my gosh, this isn't happening the right way. This can't be right. Calm down and allow space okay for things to show up as they're going to show up and be open-minded to the possibility that things might not appear how you've pictured it all right but that's okay okay the butterfly is a powerful metaphor for transformation for it to gain its wings the caterpillar must weave a chrysalis and then be completely dissolve into a kind of liquid soup ooh, before reforming into the shape of a butterfly. Enzymes dissolve all of its tissues before its metamorphosis into something completely different. So relax into the change, right? This soup, okay, that you're in, might feel totally scary, unfamiliar, all right? You might not understand how something could come on, come from such a mess, all right? Trust the process. So relax into the changes. You are bringing vibrant energy into the world. The spirit of the butterfly says, the past is behind you. Everything is changing. It's time to launch a new cycle, a new project. With care, miracles can abound. It's time to do it, right? And if you look at it and it doesn't appear the way you think it should, give it some space to let it show up as it is, all right? And from there, you can witness the miracles before you, the transformation happening right in front of your eyes. And then you're going to say to yourself, wow, this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I asked for. I'm so happy I didn't push it away or procrastinate on the process or be so close-minded that I didn't see it. Because now I see it. Now I understand spirit. That it had to happen in a certain way and i didn't know that 
And that's okay. Because we don't have all the answers when we're in these human suits. We never will when we're having the human experience. That's part of it. All right? I think I need to pull another card, uh, Spirit. <clears throat> I'm being asked to pull another card here. And um, let's pull one, Spirit. What do we have in support of Butterfly Spirit Transformation? Number eight. What is a supportive message for the card? Oh, there it goes. It pulled right up there. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> this is a repeat card, too, from that message at the beginning of my video, I had mentioned that this card was a repeat. This card was also in that message because several cards popped out. I don't even know how many it was. And this is a repeat. And I shuffle my decks. That's always <clears throat> so interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So interesting to me when cards repeat like that. All right. So, and it does, it is a sign that has reoccurred for me as a synchronicity that tells me that somebody saw that last video and didn't put into action what they were being asked to take action on. And here we're repeating the messages because they need to receive it and they need to take action. Or there's a combination effect here of a different type of message that somebody needs to receive. And it could be in support of that last message as well. So I'm, <clears throat> this is interesting. This is the number 16, all right? So maybe you're seeing 16, 16, and six plus one is seven, and seven plus eight is, you know, or seven and eight is chronological order. So that's interesting too, okay? So those are all numbers that I would search and, and look at meanings and see how those meanings apply to my life if I did an internet search on 7, 8, and 16, okay? Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. Interesting. Isn't that a beautiful and stunning image? Let's jump into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm in a little throat chakra thing here. So <clears throat> for me, whenever that repeats within my videos, it's somebody needs to speak their truth, okay? And maybe part of your transformation process is you need to actually verbalize something. So that, again, that's a synchronicity for me as well that um, does happen sometimes in my videos. Um, and I know that somebody needs to exercise their throat chakra. Magic is afoot in the enchanted grotto. Long rays of light stream through the forest canopy above. An abundance of ferns fills the grotto with effervescent, verdant color, and a small waterfall tinkles like crystalline chimes. You know that you are safe here. And again, she sets the stage for such a beautiful scene, right? I can imagine the scene, can you? This is the time to go within. Seek and find your inner refuge. Take time for deliberation and reflection. In times of retreat, you can truly hear the voice of your soul. If you have been pushing hard or struggling to keep going, this is the time to be still and nurture your inner world. Draw nourishment from the wellspring within you. Think carefully about decisions you make at this time. And that's exactly it. You need to think carefully about some of those decisions that might lead to transformation. Maybe you're not in a position to take action quite yet. Maybe you'd like to verbalize something, make a decision to verbalize something to somebody that will cause, a, you know, quite a big change, quite a big transformation in your life, all right? So you need to think on that approach a little bit more. <clears throat> if possible, put them off, okay? That really think about it then. Don't just make a move Rather than reacting from emotions, take some time to sit with it, to feel it, right? And come up with a response or a reply. Write it down if you must. Rehearse it in the mirror if you must, okay? Interesting. Now is not a good time to make life-changing choices. Wow, okay? So transformation, <clears throat> 
is in your future possibly here then. Because you really have to get a game plan in place of how you're going to approach this conversation. Okay. Instead, take time to create foundation for the future. Exactly. Retreat and reflect on your heart's true desires. Proceed with care and deliberation as you make plans. Listen to your inner guidance. Fern grottos have a feeling of peace as you enter. Many are known to be places where magic resides. Perhaps the homes of fairies and elves allow the energy of the sacred space to fill you. Know that you can be yourself and truly relax. <clears throat> Maybe you need to get out in nature and ground yourself again, all right? And think about this conversation that needs to happen. Get a game plan in place, like I mentioned, before you actually initiate it, because it will. Because you know for sure it's going to induce transformation of some sort, all right? Maybe prepare yourself for all the options that could happen as a result, okay? And there might even be options there that you wouldn't have even prepared for. And you have to be open to those as well. The spirit of the enchanted Fern Grotto says, retreat and replenish your inner resources. Now is not the time to act, but to incubate your ideas for the future. Be still. The answers are within you. Magic is all around you. You're being supported by spirit. And thank you so much, spirit, for bringing this up again. I'm so happy that they came up together, both of these cards, because it really <clears throat> is indicating for somebody that you should be speaking your truth, but don't take action quite yet as you're being guided to think it out, to contemplate it for some time, to write it down, to get a game plan, to get an appropriate approach that you feel comfortable with. So when you come to verbalize this to somebody, okay, you're prepared, all right? so that you don't back down, so that you don't procrastinate later, all right, and don't initiate this transformation. It's very, very important that you sit with it right now and think about what you're going to do, okay? Because you already know that something is about to change. So get that plan in place. Beautiful, stunning images, messages, I just love these cards and I thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for coming back to me the way that you do. I really appreciate you. All right. Put that best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. Take some time out today to get that game plan in place. If you need to take a walk in the woods, breathe in that fresh air. Get grounded. Remember how divine, remember how everlasting you are and that this is your human experience and that it is okay to take time. You don't have to make quick, fast decisions, reactions. No, you should have a response, okay? However it is for you in whatever area it is for you. I wish you luck. Let me know down in the comments what you're waiting on to transform in your life because you'd like to create a plan. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what that plan is, okay? Because you've already learned those lessons from the past in this situation, okay? And now is your time to apply that to your life, all right? Moving forward. Every day is a gift. Every single day that you wake up alive is a gift. Say thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source energy. Thank you, spirit or whatever you'd like to think. You get to use whatever label, whatever name, whatever it is for you, all right? I'm not here to convince you. I'm only here as the messenger, bringing this important information forward that every single human being walking the planet can think about, all right? Sure, there were specifics here in the reading today, but an overall arching message is that transformation and change is a guarantee. 
and how you welcome that in is really up to you, okay? What is your process going to be, all right? Set yourself up for success by preparing. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Come back tomorrow and join me again for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye.